It's been months, but the Colorado Department of Corrections is still down a whopping 1,756 employees. That's 25% of its overall staff. And now the department is turning to an unlikely medium to try and get more recruits. Yeah, I think it's the cool kids as the music you're hearing. That's a TikTok from the Department of Corrections new account. They also have pages on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. The department is also putting money where its mouth is, offering bonuses to staff and new recruits. Doing what they can right now because the head of the union representing guards says it is still not enough. Nine News reporter Cole Sullivan is joining us to explain why this has been going on for a while. Yeah, we've been covering it for a while too, Kim. And the head of the union says this money, it's a one-time bonus. They need higher pay so that folks will make corrections a career. Right now, the staffing crisis is so bad, prison teachers and social workers are covering guard shifts. We're past the point where it can become dangerous and has, it is dangerous. Inside Colorado state prisons, one in every four jobs is vacant. The Department of Corrections needs 1,700 more employees. We understand the urgent need to staff up the prisons. It's been urgent for a long time. And we are the new talent acquisition unit here. The department's hiring team now has a TikTok. And while the videos probably are not going viral anytime soon, the head of the union representing prison guards says she's not throwing shade. Whatever we have to do to resolve the situation of getting people in the door, awesome. Do it. TikToks, whatever, Instagram, whatever, whatever you, you need to do. Let's get them in there. But it is more important to keep them there once we get them there. The department gave current guards and staff like teachers who are filling in a $4,000 bonus. New hires can get nearly $10,000 in bonus and moving money. Not enough, says Hillary Glasgow. What we really need to be working on is structural pay reform that's going to keep people working in the prisons. She says higher salaries and better benefits will keep workers longer than a one-time bonus. The prisons need stability, she says, because the turnover these days isn't sustainable. It's a dangerous job to start with. And then to be short staffed is even worse because there's there's not enough staff to intercede and thus no backup. She says the department is doing its best, but it's especially tough because the federal prison system and neighboring states are offering even bigger bonuses in Nebraska. For example, certain new hires can get bonuses of up to 15,000 bucks. Hmm. It's a tough job and, and you certainly want to get very well to do it. And that's what they're asking for is kind of salary changes, not these one-time bonuses. All right, thank you, Cole.